Welcome to Clarity. So today we're going to show how to upgrade your software on your switches using DNA Center. Typically, you would go to cisco.com, downloads, and search for the product. We're doing a 9200 today. And then usually we would just go ahead and download the image from here. Uh, that being said, we don't have to do that anymore. Uh, this may look a little different to you as we navigate through the menu. So I recently upgraded to 2.3.3.4. So it's still in the same place, design, image repository. All right, we're going to be upgrading our 9200. And then from here, it's kind of nice because it'll uh, show you what the latest is um, and then what the suggested latest is as well. Uh, for our purposes, we're going to just go ahead and go to the latest. And all we have to do is click the download button and then we're going to mark as golden after the download. And at any point, you can view the status by going to show status uh, right there in the menu. And as you can see, um, it is downloaded and imported successfully. And then with a refresh, we can see that it is now the gold star for our 9200s. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to provision and inventory. And don't mind, my lab is quite a bit of a mess right now, so a lot of the devices are not reachable currently. But we can get to our SDA Edge 1. From here, we're going to go to, we're going to select our switch. We're going to go to Actions, Software, Image Update. We'll select the switch that we want to upgrade, and as you can see, uh, it's on 17.3.3 and we're upgrading to the new image that we set as the gold star to 17.6.3. There's an update readiness report. There's some flash size, but this will be, uh, there's a checkbox in there that'll go ahead and it'll clean up your flash after the installation. Um, so all of the old iOS's will get removed from the flash to, to create space after the new iOS successfully is activated. And then some CCO um, errors. I haven't set up all the credentials properly yet in DNA Center. It's one of the first things that you guys will do with your DNA Center, so it should be okay. And from there, there's some pre-checks that's going to happen. Uh, a lot of the pre-checks is just to let you know if there are going to be any errors. And then there's some pre and post checks for the activation. All this is going to do is either before or after the activations, it's going to take a look at everything and then make sure that ev everything is okay during the install process. So DNA centers come quite a long way in the software upgrade process to make sure that it is smooth. And then if anything is wrong, right, it doesn't want to go ahead and push the upgrade, knowing that something may be wrong, only for it to fail on the rollback. So it's come a long way to, to check everything and make sure that everything is going to be clean for the install, or it just will not uh, run the install. I like to distribute the image now, um, at the beginning of my workday. This is the flash cleanup that we were talking about. And then I like to schedule the activation for later. This later activation is typically during whatever maintenance window that we have approved for this switch upgrade. Um, I'm doing this from home in the lab, so my maintenance window is whenever. So we'll set this for 10 a.m. It'll yell at us a little bit. Um, ah, yeah, see, um, 
it's yelling at us a little bit because it typically wants enough time to be able to distribute that image before it goes ahead. It won't take 10 hours to distribute the image. It's just copying the image from DNA Center to the flash of the switch, wherever it sits in your network. Barring any bandwidth constraints, it should not take anywhere near 10 hours. Then we can review a summary of everything that we've just done. It just kind of rolls up what we're doing, the different checks, when we're distributing it. Again, distributing it is putting it to the flash and then activating it is actually running the install. And I'm never fast enough to click that little pop-up but we can always go to activities and then tasks and we can take a look here and we can see that the operating system is being updated and kind of the uh, status of the tasks right now this is the distribution so we're pushing it to the flash so now what we can do is we can schedule all of this we make sure that the distribution goes off in the day while we're still there and then that evening the upgrade will kick off automatically via DNA Center. And then uh, the way that we had changed our process was myself or whoever was in charge of the upgrade would just wake up early the next day, log into the network, check the switch, make sure that the upgrade was successful, make sure that if not, it rolled back successfully. And that would give us a bit of time to remediate any issues if anything did go wrong. So now instead of losing a tech for half a day, that tech comes in an hour early, checks everything, everything looks good, and then they can just go ahead and start their day. So they're leaving an hour early, but from a man hours perspective, we're not losing a lot of time. They're not having to stay late to do something that is very easily automated. And that's very powerful, especially when you can start rolling multiple switch stacks throughout the night. It makes me happy that I'm not sitting there babysitting something for hours and then it makes the security team happier because they know that, hey, we're able to actually upgrade these switches. So whenever they do their vulnerability scans and they come out with this giant list of reasons why I have to upgrade the switch, it's not so detrimental to my team to be losing a member to do a, a simple task that's just time consuming, right? And that, that's what DNA Center is all about is let's use our tools because it's hard to get headcount to grow. So if I can automate a task that'll save me X number of man hours, you know, why not? So I'm gonna let this run. It's gonna take a little while and I shall come back soon. So the image was successfully distributed to the flash on the SDA Edge 9200. And now we're just waiting for the activation to begin, which should happen in about five minutes. It looks like the switch finished its upgrade process. We go back over to provision and inventory. And from here, we can select our switch and check software and hardware. And we can see that we are running 17.6.3. And then if we want to just double check, we can pop the little command runner and do a show version. And we can see here that it is indeed running 17.6.3. And we can also check our flash. And let's go ahead and let's just pop the document. And we can see in our flash that we are nice and clean. We only have the 17.6.3 files and the rest of our flash has been cleaned up because after the successful install of the new iOS, it went through and it removed all of the unactivator, not in use files on the flash in regards to previous versions of software. And that's it. Hopefully this will save you and your staff a lot of time. This is definitely one of the number one use cases that I had used for DNA Center when we had first gotten it. If you have any other questions, please be sure to let me know. Thank you.